Welcome to Hydraulic Press Channel. Hi. This video is all about ball bearings. We have big ass ball bearings, big ass press, bulletproof bunker, high speed camera, what else you would need. Maybe a robot, but that's the next week videos. Okay, quick update. Check out this. Tada! Pop the pot is alive. I have already filmed this week's video, so we are not going to use it this week. But uh, I think next week it's operational. It's now like really slow. It's on like um, safe mode, where you can be close to it. So it's slow, but I just put the uh, safety, safety things to the bunker and then it's fast as hell. First thing is to try something completely new. We have this like medium sized ball bearing here. And this is Timo's idea and recommendation. The most dangerous way to crush a ball bearing. The idea is to push the middle ring and the balls through the bearing. And Timo has the theory that this makes this go like light speed all around. And because of that, we have all the expensive cameras outside. First time. Yeah, but now no box, so the shit can fly. And 360 degree camera shows where the shit flies. Yeah, all the shrapnel have uh, space to play. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, here it goes. I'm again a bit nervous. This is like completely safe, but it's like death behind the wall and the bulletproof window. So it's kind of exciting. Okay, here we go. I have no idea how bad it's going to be. Ah. Timo didn't have good idea. But it was worth of the try still. Uh, Next we are going to get bigger bearing and put it standing up. And then the next one, this is 8 inches on outer diameter. Looks really nice and sturdy. And Mr. Watermelon guy is going to catch it. And the stunt watermelon, he is really talented today. Check out what trick shot he made. He catched the ball bearing with his mouth. Or hers. I'm not sure which one is it. Maybe it's just a watermelon. Maybe it's just it. Yeah, and this video is sponsored by ProfiPress. They manufacture and sell hydraulic presses. They do special machines like our own, but they have also big stock of most common machines in most common size. So if you need, let's say, 100 ton workshop press, they have that in stock and ready to ship fast. And if your needs are a bit more special, like ours, then they can design and manufacture special press just for you, according to your use case. And we have great partnership with ProfiPress. We are official ProfiPress dealer. So if you want to buy ProfiPress straight from us, that's also possible. There is an email address down in the description. And we read that, and guys at ProfiPress read that. So if you need a stupid press for a stupid use, I'm the guy. And also if you buy machine in Finland and use Finnish language through the process, then I'm the guy. But if you want a production machine for regular production use, then the guys at ProfiPress know much more. For example, I didn't realize that if you are mostly straightening things with workshop press, you actually might want to buy a portal press. That's way more handy machine for fixing stuff like that. So stuff like that, guys at ProfiPress are good on that. And we are good on doing the stupid stuff. So let's continue with the ball bearings. Okay, now I'm not so nervous because the plane of death is not pointing at this direction. Mm. It's uh, pointing straight to the watermelon. So something is going to definitely happen this time. Okay, the press seems to be on full speed. So this is quite fast over. <laughs> okay, I think I think the watermelon is not survive that. We 
we didn't, we can decide should we first watch the high speed or go here, but let's go here. Okay. Where is the watermelon? Oh, it's there. I thought that it did like completely disappear, but it didn't completely disappear. Oh my god. Oh my god. The eyes. The eyes are gone. Yeah, that was a quite a quite a thing. Check how thick are these. These are thick. And heavy. Also nice balls for the future video. We don't have yet strong enough hardness tools to deal with these, but we are going to get soon. Oh, okay, now, now the high speed. Yeah. And I have terrible news. I couldn't find that footage from the SD card. I think we just didn't save it on middle of the mayhem. We were a bit too excited. And the filming setup is quite new, so I don't have like process there. But uh, I'm going to make sure that this is not going to happen ever again. This was really bad luck. Oi! Oi, that flew fast. Oh! What the hell? That's terrifying speed. Hey, nice collection of bearings you have here. Yeah, I have, I have. I'm quite proud of it. Too. It would be really unfortunate if some of those would get crushed. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm going to uh, decide which one goes next. Let's try this one. Okay, okay. There is like a different uh, shaped the bearings. Yeah, it's a roller bearing. Yeah, and then uh, but the size is quite the same as the, the last one. But Okay, one more regular size yeah. before the yeah. stupid size most stupidest ever. Okay, Hanna's roller bearing. Let's hope that it's going to be as eventful as the uh, 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 last one. Uh -oh. Okay, that hit quite hard to the wall. Yeah. I felt the impact yeah, on yeah. the wall. Should I press more? Now let's go have a look. Mm. Yes, this was an interesting one. Roller bearings explode to all directions and ball bearings side to side. So this is completely new for us. Okay, the bunker clearly doesn't work. I'm really nervous. Yeah. <laughs> <Still>? <laughs> I'm not sure why it's so, so like nerve cracking to look, but uh, we are completely safe, it just looks terrible. Mm. Oh, okay, are you Hanna ready? Yeah, the guy looks very ready. Yeah, he is ready, he is <laughs> much more ready than we are, okay. <laughs> now I realized why this has been interesting to edit. It looks not that bad. But I forgot that these were like huge because I think they are small because they are bearings that we cross and we can cross big bearings. But now we can. Okay. Rollers. And oh, no. oh, oh, that's not optimal. No. Check. Oh. Well, you can make a uh, like flower pot out of that. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, my hands are shaking. Uh, that, ah, did, uh, that, hey, didn't do work for nothing. It worked. Yeah. Hey, check that's Ui. that that would probably take an out the sensor. Ah, okay, it's then it wouldn't take mellow. out the sensor. Huh, let's go have a look on the high speed. Yeah. <laughs> oh. No, it, 
it's all yeah. old that it just broke down when it fall down. Yeah, but it was its second fall. So. Yeah, second fall, but it swiped the eye away. Okay, yeah. let's see how bad was the like actual explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Millions of pieces. Yeah. Oh. Bong, body, bong. Okay, we are ready for the last one. Check out this. It's the big ass ball roller bearing and old friends. Kelpop no pants and ballistic squirrel. So uh, you can't really trust the watermelons. But these two guys, they know how to catch some shrapnel. Okay, and because this is the last cross of the day, I switched the press to slow speed so we can enjoy this longer. Special this special moment with friends. Oof. Pop and squirrel, okay. Yeah. Oh my god, this is really nerve cracking at this speed. Oh, 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 I, oh. Uh, I forgot to set the force. Oopsie. Okay, it was at 100. 100 tons and it do, didn't do shit. Mm -mm. I can take second like, like that, so I put it full speed. It has to be fast over. Okay. I don't know. I, I don't I don't know. I don't want to uh, Okay, here we go. <laughs> Quite a lot happened. Quite a lot happened. Uh Okay. How I think I think we start to unravel with with this with the high speed. That's the that's the key. Mm -hmm. take this. Let's go have a look high speed. Yeah, I have been building like uh, four days this week the bunker and protection for the press, but I still don't have the computer, and I didn't took any force lock, so I'm not sure how strong that was, but well over 100 tons. And it, it was a huge sound outside of the bunker. There was a lot of big parts flying. And also I think you can see it on this camera. There's also smaller parts flying that fly faster than the bigger ones. So all kinds of like uh, <laughs> danger. And the ballistic gelatin, there was like maybe two or three inch deep cuts from the sharp flying sub stuff. So overall, uh, don't try this at home. Yeah, but uh, most of the like dangerous stuff hit the gelatin. So I think that was a good yeah, result. Yeah, that's true. Nothing broke. Yeah, we go, we go through the bunker, but I think there isn't anything, any damage on anywhere. If there is, you are going to see it now. I found this. There is mark on each polycarbonate that are protecting the windows. So the bulletproof windows would probably already been cracked without the 10 millimeter polycarbonate shields in front of them. I have no idea what hit them, but something decently fast. Go check ProfiPress Hydraulic Presses. There is also a link to all the different models on the description. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day.